Hey guys, it's me, Clay Ramage, and welcome to my channel. Thanks again for watching. And um, looking forward to uh, this next video. Actually, the beginning of this is going to be my last trip to the Goodwill Bin. Some of you guys have been asking about um, doing a, a thrift haul at the bins. So I this is my first attempt at trying to record the session. So you'll see it's kind of wacky at first, but it gets a little better as it goes along. Anyway... Um, and then I go right into the haul video as far as what I got at the Goodwill bins. So, hope you enjoy it. Bye. Okay, I was at the bins. This is my first time trying to video while shopping at the bins. So bear with me on this. It's pretty wild uh, for the first couple minutes as I try to figure out the best camera angle and how to sort through the bins. And I had actually had the, my phone, which I was filming with, in my shirt pocket. Um, and so that's why sometimes it goes crooked. I didn't realize it was kind of slipping out. But start sorting through the bins. This first one just had a bunch of crazy stuff in it. All piled together. Which, of course, they all do. There's a little sock monkey. I don't even remember seeing that. Sometimes when you're sorting in the bins don't even have a chance to uh, see everything you're just you get focused in one area or on one thing like there it's focused on something and then um, I was just pushing everything else out of the way now you happen to notice there's a tablecloth it's a Christmas vintage tablecloth that again I didn't see the first round I actually came back to this bin later on and um, Noticed it then, picked it up, then I found the matching one for it. There's one that's a square and one that's a round design with the same Christmas pattern or snowman pattern on them. So I grabbed both of those. Here I'm looking at a Precious Moments um, figurine. It's a Christmas one with the tree on top, trying to decide if I want to get it or not. Um, then I keep looking for other things. Again, I tend to root to the bottom. Here I'm looking at a little folder with a couple prints in it. You know me, I see prints. I have to stop and pick them up, so I put them in the cart. Oops, I don't know what happened there. Um, nice picture of my shoes. Anyway, back in the bin. Digging through stuff. It always amazes me how much Christmas stuff is in the bins. Um even this time of year, so they must still be getting all sorts of donations, but they continue to just put in the bins and not take to the stores. And uh, I always look down in the little pockets. Here I found an envelope with some stuff in it, not sure what was in it. And with my gloves on, I couldn't really see inside of the envelope. No, I was trying. So I just threw it in the, my cart and could I check it out later? It's kind of hard to see, pull anything out. So that's what I do. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff. Um, dig down into the corners because the little pieces tend to get shoved into the corners or in the back. Here I found a vintage ribbon um, music pattern. It's the type with the wire and the size that you can wrap around things or whatever stays in different shapes. So now just a bunch of glass beads down in this corner. Oh, I did find a little Christmas brooch. Nothing fancy, so I didn't pick that up. Don't know what I was looking at there. Here's a little doll. Again, pardon me, I look at this stuff and think, why are you not broken to bits by now? And again, this is the next morning. So people had gone through these bins the day before. So I get there right when they open at 8 o'clock. And um, so it's always second day pickings when I'm going through these bins initially. And I still find an incredible amount of good stuff. So anyway, again, just kind of looking for different things here. Not sure exactly what I was looking at in some of this. Um, a lot of household stuff in this particular one. I did look at that little schnauzer frame. Tried to open this box one hand, it didn't work. And it was, I could tell it was empty, so I wasn't too worried about it. And then, 
here. I spot a pair of scissors. So I thought old vintage scissors are always much better than modern scissors for the most part. So I tend to pick them up if I can and then I check them out. And if they're in good shape, you know, because the older scissors you can resharpen. Um, I've taken them to professional places to have them resharpened and they work really well. If they're good quality. If they're not, or if they're bent or damaged at all, then it's usually not worth it. But good quality pair of scissors or shears are worth it. Here I find some precious moments figurines in a box. This one's missing the head. It was just a painted rock. Picked up this watch going, oh, interesting. Put it down. And then for some reason I went back and picked it up again when I saw the back. But again, it was a made in China piece. Here's another print. Checking out the title. Yeah, it's cute. It's a little damaged though. Oh, here's another precious moments figurine. This one's not damaged. Oh, there's the head that was missing from the first one. One of the things when I'm in the bins, I tend to organize stuff. I don't know why, but if I see things separated or two pieces of the same thing, I put them together. This windmill figurine I would have loved to have taken, but it was broken. One of the fins on the windmill was broken, so I didn't take that, which was a shame because it was a really nice piece. And again, just kind of sorting through at all the fun treasures and here I go sideways this one I put D from Thrill of the Thrift the other day was talking about this anchor hawking pattern and how she found a clear glass picture of the same pattern I can't remember what it's called but that she had a green one so I saw these it's a snack set with plates and the coffee cups and then there's these other mid 70s version of drinking cups that were there then in the bin right next to it was this box of different dishes. This is a lovely little bunny pitcher. And uh, so I spent some time looking at it. It was actually in great shape, not chipped or anything. Here's the information on the bottom, made in Taiwan. So, you know, it's 80s, 90s. There's the head of the little um, frog plate that I picked up just before the bunny. This was just a plastic bowl your back and digging in the bottom this was a dishware box but in the bottom I found a saw blade look at that wow you never know what you'll find so I actually took that because everybody needs a saw blade eventually so they'll sell not not for big money but a little bit and then it was this Christmas box with all well, that was left in it was this Christmas garland and this little serenity prayer um, but there are other things in the corner, different houses, and the nutcracker figurine and all that I think was in that box and got pulled out. Um, so I looked through that, didn't find anything. Then I looked down in this corner, find a Barbie boot. And yes, there's a white deer. And I did see that. I didn't pick it up for Nicole, though. Then I look, take another look at this little baggie. It actually has glass. So... Tell you what, let's just get right into the bins haul here. I don't know what's happening to me, but I'm getting into prints. And I'm finding a lot in the bins lately. This one is uh, Santa Claus by Jody Jensen. It's dated 1999. This is another one, Jody Jensen. All right, folks, let's pick that up. A friend of mine called me right in the middle of the video. So anyway, so I got those prints, which are great prints. And then I'm going to put this on. Like it? Yeah, I'm not a hat person. But I found it at the bins. It's a fur hat. It's pretty nice. And then we found a fur shawl made up of all little fur balls and then joined together. So there's a whole bunch of those. And then fur coat. It's a rabbit fur coat. So it was fur day at the bins. I don't know where they all came from, but they were all together. So somebody else had them at one point and decided, I'm sure, not to take them. So they just piled them up in that spot. So I'll grab them. And if you haven't seen, in February, Nicole North Garden had issued the Get It Done Challenge. 
I actually took an old fur coat and reupholstered his stool um, with real fur. So the fur coat was falling apart. But it doesn't have to be falling apart. You can reupholster it anyway. So that's a fun channel, and I'll link that video. And another thing I found was this is a picture light. So you hang it on the back of your picture so it lights up your paintings uh, on your walls. Those are very good commodities. Again, lots of bubble wrap, bubble wrap, bubble wrap. And I love getting it at the bins because I get shipping supplies without having to pay, pay for them. And then look at what was stuck to one of them. Mr. Giraffe Face. I thought he was funny with googly eyes. Um, and then I picked up a couple diecast trucks. These are smaller ones, similar to what I learned to drive on, actually. Um, to pick those up. Again, those are always marketable. This was one of my favorite finds. It's a plastic poinsettia. Hangs on the wall. It's got the hanger. That's what I'm holding it by. And on here it says 1968 CK Indiana Company Limited. So it's from 1968. I thought it was pretty cool. There was another one which was a candle sconce kind of thing to go around the candle, um, but it was missing parts, so I didn't grab that. Found a little Mr. Easter Bunny, which I wish I could take him down to the Pink Elephant, the antique store, but it's closed till April. So uh, I found a couple little doggies and I found a little tiny vase. This is made in occupied Japan. What I'm going to do is I have a number of small little occupied Japan pieces. So I'm just going to make one big lot of occupied by Japan pieces because individually they're not very collectible and don't bring big money anymore like they used to. Now this, well, let's start with him. Got a little froggy with a crown. That's for my mother-in-law. She collects frogs whenever we can get in to see her. Again, the assisted living facility is not allowing any visitors right now. Um, and then there's this little tiny puppy. Um, very poor quality. You can barely tell it's a dog. But on the back it says Japan. But I had to get him because he's just this little tiny cute thing. And, oh, I also found four pennies in the bins. Um, but the other thing I found, and this is going to go to Nicole North Garden as well, was this itty bitty tiny um, outdoor scene. It's got a deer. Whoops. Unfortunately, the deer has a broken leg, but I'm sure Nicole can figure out how to use him. And these tiny people, itty bitty tiny people, and then this little itty bitty outdoor scene that they were all glued to at one point. By the time I found them, they were all broken. But it says on the back, made in Italy. So I thought for Nicole's uh, little craft drawers, she could fill it with itty bitty tiny people. Uh, pack of Kleenex for the backpacks. LED light, most unusual one. It must have special effects or something. But again, I picked those up at the bins. Um, if you watch my thrifting video that I did, you'll notice that there was this tablecloth in one of the scenes. And I actually didn't even notice it that time when I was going through it. It was the second time when I went back through the bins that I actually found it. There's a round tablecloth and a matching squared tablecloth. Uh, snowman scene for Christmas, which I thought was great. So again, more vintage linens, found some more shipping supplies and envelopes. I found these metal plates and I thought, oh, those look interesting. They actually go this way. Um, so I grabbed them, not paying much attention to them. But then when I got home and I looked at it, it actually is stamped made in England. So hmm, I just thought they were nice. Kind of mid-century, gold, Hollywood Regency type of look. Um, found a pottery mug. I just like the way the handle is designed into the mug. It is marked on the bottom. 
Nehler, or Neher, N-E-H-E-R, 2010. So I haven't looked them up yet. I also got a whole bunch of jewelry. Yep, finding more and more jewelry. No silver and gold this time, but a lot of costume jewelry. Also in my thrifting video, you saw me pick up this. It's got two prints in it um, with mother and children. It's called, one's called Affection. And one is called The New Brother, both by Bernard Potast. And it's still in the original folder that it came in. So again, I'm picking up more prints. I got to figure out what to do with those. Um, I found this and I picked it up just because the cost was minimal. It's a scarf. And I don't know if that says Vanna or Vera or... You know, if it's a Vera Wang piece, or I assume it's probably a Vera Wang piece, but anyway, I just liked it, so I picked it up. Figure out what to do with it later. Um, I did find this original painting. First, I thought it was just a print, but it's actually hand-painted. It's hand-painted by an L. Hempshard. Schrott. Hempshard, sorry. It's H-E-M-S-H-R-O-T. So I thought she did a wonderful job and uh, just a delightful child with her doll. I haven't looked her up or done anything else. So um, found some more flowers for the planters that I found. Found a little scoop for when we're entertaining people for dishing out food. Oh, these were kind of exciting. Found this sugar shaker. Um, a delightful pattern on it. I also found the pepper shaker. Did not find the salt shaker. I looked and looked and looked. Did not find the salt shaker. It's marked with a big W on the bottom and a G. Not sure who that is. Haven't really looked them up or done anything with that. I bought a roll of paper. Again, this is for packing. I don't know. Sometimes I don't know what I'm doing in life. I this also was in the video that I shot about my trip to the, the bins. Um, this is a vintage uh, Christmas wrap. You know, it's got the wires in it so you can wrap it around your tree or whatever. Made in Taiwan. I picked it up just because it's a vintage piece. And it's music. And I was feeling pretty bad because I've been... The last few times at the bins, I haven't found any precious metals. No silver, gold or anything like that. So I was thinking, what's going on here? Ah, we broke the streak. So I was digging around the bins, saw this. It's not in very good shape. And it looked kind of funny, but I thought it had the green felt on the bottom. And I was surprised nobody had ripped it off yet. So I ripped it off, first thing I did, or ripped it down. Sure enough, it's Sterling by the MFH Company. I don't know if you can see that on the bottom. So yes, I broke my streak and found another piece of sterling. And you know what? Hold on a sec. I happened to go to an estate sale this morning um, and found this sterling candlestick. And it says, Sterling by Elmore, reinforced. So, hey, we're doing well. I also found two it. Then I found this lamp harp. As you guys know, I always have a ton of lamps. Still trying to figure out how to move them out of my house. But this is an adjustable lamp. It's got the holes so you can make it taller or shorter. Depending upon your lamp. I never saw one that was adjustable before. I thought that was really cool. I had to grab that. It's all by itself. Found another flask. This one says Loon Saloon. So whenever we open up the pink elephant, that'll go back down there. I found, I picked this up and originally I thought, oh, it's got holes in the top. I thought, oh, she's a um, hat pin holder. Did she make adorable hat pin holder? Then I realized she's got a cork in the bottom. She must have been a set for salt and pepper shakers. She's got all of her fingers and toes. Nothing's broke off with the roses on her. So, cool. Then I found 
little bunny dish. This one is actually, it's an Avon dish from 1985, but it was made by Weiss in Brazil. So, very nice piece. Weiss is good quality porcelain. And I picked up this. You'll see me pick it up and if you watch the thrifting video, you'll see me pick it up there. I picked it up because of these glass ornaments. Teardrops. I was like, oh, those are cool. Originally thinking they were Christmas ornaments, but I'm wondering whether they're Christmas ornaments or whether they're ornaments for a chandelier. I think somebody used them as Christmas ornaments. There's also this star, glass star. And then I didn't know until I got home and opened it in the very bottom are all these little tiny prisms. There's a whole bunch of them at the bottom. So that was a good find. And then the Kleenex, which I originally thought was just for padding the glass pieces, had these snowflakes. And they're plastic, so they're more modern. But cool! So that was a fun little find. Like that one. Picked up a little bag of ribbon. So when I'm doing working on lampshades, we have some ribbon for trimming out the edges. I'm not sure why I got this. But it's a vintage um, freezer wrapper bags. 39 cents originally. It says there's 25 one pint bags in this package. Brand new, never been opened. I mean, it looks fantastic condition considering the age. So, maybe it's collectible. Saw a blade. Those are always sellable. Um, picked up a little bag of wooden Easter ornaments that I think I'll give to Nicole. I'm getting a big pile for you, Nicole. I don't know what to do. In the video, you'll see me holding a white envelope and kind of trying to figure out what it is. And eventually I stopped and looked through it and it was a one of those promotional things you get with calendars and mailing labels and all that kind of stuff in it. But it also had a series of Christmas cards. So I pulled out all the Christmas cards and uh, saved those. So there we go. So we got those. That's the end of the bin. It's not the end of the haul because I found this. I'm actually going to keep this and it's very heavy. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, knocking everything over. It's this fabulous industrial lamp with a magnifying magnifying glass. Um, it is a fluorescent. I got to get the bulbs for it. Um, but it it is extremely heavy. I don't know how it's. Probably 15, 20 pounds. It's so heavy. Well, let's see if we can weigh it. Um, but the reason I got that is because I'm always using magnifying glasses of one sort or another to try to read something. And this one will be right on my desk this way. And I can't move it very easily. And it's too heavy for my scale. So I don't know how heavy it is. But it's very heavy. Probably 20 pounds. Um, but yeah. Oops, I have my head cut off. So that was my exciting last trip to the bins in March. Um, so anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you like this kind of content, subscribe, like, hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss out on any future fun videos. And uh, we have, I have a whole list here somewhere written out of the different videos coming up. So, uh, and it'll be revised a little bit because I had a number of haul videos in there and I do have a number of things that I have not shown um, that I've gotten which I will show as miscellaneous hauls no longer goodwill bin hauls for a little while or even goodwill store bins so anyway thanks again bye